Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the ML Scholar and today we will be discussing Madden Fusion once again. I know I did a video on this monster a few days ago, but a lot of new information has come to light and I would like to discuss it further. So let's just jump right into it. So as we move on, we see that no power, speed or health has been revealed yet. So we'll just move on to the traits at rank zero. This monster will have Harden, which will have a 25% less accuracy against all kinds of effects. So this is a pretty great trait to have considering the amount of tortures we face and the amount of deny effects we face. So moving on. We have at rank 3 she will have self evasion which is a pretty great skill just like Elviria at the start of the battle she will have self evasion status caster and then we have at rank 5 status caster protect positive so when the battle starts this monster at rank 5 will have self evasion to the entire team then she will also be giving a positive effect protection to all the ally team. Meaning if you have positive effects like damage buff or any other positive effects that can help you win the battle and they cannot be removed by any other enemy skill. So this is a pretty great status caster to have. And then we move on to an overview which is Madam Fusion is a magic support extra turner. She has different skills that remove positive effects, disables traits and cleans negative effects. Then she comes back with an extra turn. So she is an extra turn magic support monster which I really love. And I know this monster will be destroyed by extra turner, uh, anticipation monsters excuse me. But she is a pretty great monster just let's i'm just really excited to get into her skills right now so we have the skills let's go from the descending order because all the uh group one skills are not that great so let's start with the ultimate so we have stellar nuclear synthesis which is special and which deals massive special damage to all enemies and applies three random torture skills so a amazing ultimate which deals three random torture skill effects remember these torture skill effects drain a percentage of the enemy's life and they will be very detrimental in the enemy's life especially if they have huge lives for example the megaton monsters or monsters with life runes so let's move on to the skills we have ingenica taught me which will have a disabled trait on one enemy and gives one extra turn to itself now, for me, this trait really shines against monsters that have area dodge. Monsters like Rimblad, Helguden, and obviously O'Reilly, which are really great monsters. And if you are able to remove the trait, they basically become defenseless. So they will be able to get stunned, mega frozen, possessed, immune to... The immunity basically will be removed against skills that, ha uh, that deal area damage or that deal area control so that's a pretty great skill i would definitely recommend running this one and on top of it it will also give one, yourself one extra turn so as uh, you can do this skill which i'm gonna read out now which is your turn which removes all negative status effects on one ally which means if your ally is denied for no matter how many turns it has burned freeze nightmares whatever it will just be removed and that ally will gain an extra turn so all, is, all of the allies' negative effects have been removed and it may also have a buff from any of your monsters and you have cleared the area dodge monster. So now you can basically wreck the entire team. Or you could do, excuse me, if you are running against monsters that have mega taunt enabled, for example, monsters like Mephisto, Tundra, Brutalis, etc. And you can start off with this skill, which removes positive status effects from one enemy and gives one extra turn to yourself. Then you could go ahead and do your turn. This is basically a move like Demise's Strength from Beyond, which I feel is pretty great. That you get an extra turn and you can tr turn transfer as well. So, definitely another skill I'd recommend running. Moving on, we have in Interestial Confinement Fusion which deals moderate magic damage to one enemy and removes all negative status effects from all allies. You could run this or you could run the cooldown protection skill which is Bubble Fusion. And then as we progress upwards we have Focus Fusion which gives 50% of stamina to all allies, apply stamina region. 
So that's a pretty great skill as well. Then we have Pyroelectric Fusion, which deals moderate magic damage to one enemy, applies a random torture skill to all enemies. So this is a pretty great skill as well. Then we have Bend to Vault, deals heavy magic damage to one enemy, applies Thunder in Nature Weakness to one enemy, and gives one extra turn to itself. Then we have a skill that gives immunity to blind to all allies, and we have Trustful Companion that deals moderate magic damage, and Love Vault which deals physical damage, so nothing too special about those two skills. So my recommended skill set would definitely be Ingenica Taught Me, Excuse Me, and Your Turn. These are the three must-have skills you can run. And then depending on your situation, you could switch between either this removes negative status effects from all allies or have cooldowns protection enabled, or you could just give 50% stamina, or you could also run the random torture skill to all enemies skill as well this is a pretty great monster i am praying that this monster has a amazing speed so we could run him in all speed runes or we could just put team speeds on this monster and she could just slay the enemy team now how do you get this monster this monster will be available on august the 12th from madam fusion's quest so be sure to keep a lookout for that and you can they basically there'll be a breeding event then there will be a survival dungeon for this monster so for the survival dungeon you, first you will need to breed this monster to get the key even if you aren't able to breed this monster you can just buy the key uh, from the chest that will be available soon in the game as well for real money i think that's five dollars or something so yeah pretty great monster and i would love to have it and yeah i almost forgot the breeding combo for this monster is also pretty easy and so you need to breed Pixelion and Worker Hulk, which is which are monsters that are that almost everybody has. They have been available in the game countless of times, and you could even breed Worker Hulk. And obviously there will be a Joker combo, which has not been revealed yet, but will soon be available as well. So keep an eye out for that as well. And another special thing about this breeding event is you can get like four legendary monsters from this combo so you could either get voltaic you could get Tessidae, you could get i meepo or you could get madam fusion i know that's not interesting and these monsters aren't that great but your aim will be able to get madam fusion and unlock that skills dungeon because this monster is a definite must have and i would really love to have this one in my team so this event will begin on the 12th of august as soon as this race ends and yeah, that's it for the video. Please comment, like, subscribe and share.